With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given that there is a bomb, bomb which is dropped from an aeroplane which is flying horizontally with a velocity of 469 meter per second at an altitude of 980 meter. Now the bomb will hit the ground after a time. We need to take G as 9.8 meter per second square. Okay, let's say this is our ground. Okay, now there is a bomb. Uh, this uh, there is an aeroplane. Let's draw this is an aeroplane which is flying, and now there is a bomb which has been dropped. Okay, so this is the something velocity of aeroplane. So it would be the same velocity of the bomb. It would be 469 meter per second. Okay, now what is the height which has been given? The height is given as to be from here to here. It is given as to be 9. Uh, 80 meters okay so the path of the bomb would be a projectile it would be like this something like this and finally it would be dropped here okay now what is the time which it would take now if we just say what is the basically acceleration in x or y direction we can say that this 980 is the displacement in the y direction okay so if we use our equation of motion we can say that s equals to ut plus half a t square now in the x direction there would won't be any force but we, we not to consider about the x direction we can just calculate uh, uh, from this value then we can get the value of the time now in the y direction if we use this equation for the y direction we can see that displacement in the y direction this would be initial velocity in the y direction multiplied by time plus 1 divided by 2 acceleration in the y direction into time square now what is the displacement which is traveled in the y direction if we see okay it, the displacement is in the downward direction so we say that minus 980 okay minus 980 meters now what is the initial velocity in the y direction we see now there is no initial velocity in the y direction it is only along the x directions uh, x direction so we say that initial velocity in the y direction would be zero okay so this term would be zero zero multiplied by t would be equals to zero plus one divided by two what would be the acceleration in the y direction now acceleration would in the y direction would be equals to g okay it would be in the downward direction again it is in the downward direction and g value is 9.8 so we take negative 9.8 into t square now if we solve this then our uh, if we just rewrite this so it would be minus 9.8 divided by 2 t square this would be equals to minus 980 or we can say that our t square would be equals to 980 into 2 divided by 9.8 so if we remove this decimal so we multiply it by 10 so it would be cancelled by 10 times so it would be 10 into 10 100 multiplied by 2 200 this is the square of the time we need to find what is the time so if we take the square root then it would be 2 multiplied by 100 we write it like this and if we take the square root so square root of 100 would be equals to 10 and it would be root 2 seconds so after this amount of time it would be hitting the ground so which is the correct option d would be the correct option hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today